Hi, I'm E-Rock, Program Director for Tough Mudder Boot Camp. This is how you're going to develop grip strength for obstacle course racing. We're going to use a couple different pieces of equipment today. The first is going to be a dumbbell. The uh, exercise that we're going to start off on is the dumbbell bear crawl. So starting with those dumbbells in the hand, you're going to lower yourself down to a bear crawl position. One at a time, you're going to march those dumbbells with the feet and hands. Yes, like a bear crawling through the wilderness. There we go. Organized and tight through that core, developing that grip strength. This is awesome, not only for the grip, but also to develop that strength within the wrist if you have uh, existing wrist problems. Thank you, that's awesome. Perfect. Now another moving exercise we can do is the farmer carry. This time we're using kettlebells, okay, with the posture nice and tall, shoulders depressed and retracted. You're gonna keep a nice firm grip on those things and take them for a walk. I suggest if you have the room, work in 50 meter increments. That's great, awesome, thank you so much. The, uh, you can increase the weight, you can increase the distance that you go on both the bear crawl or the farmer carry as you get better at it. Second off is going to be the dumbbell deadlift bicep curl. Not only are we going to be building that posterior chain, that core, but we're also hanging tough, developing all the muscles that are attached to that grip, i.e. the biceps, the triceps, the good stuff right there. Now, to move into this workout, you're going to start nice and tall posture, shoulders back and retracted, core tight. Initiate the deadlift by pushing your hips back, descending down, coming back to the top. We're going to fire that hip back forward. Once you've reached that top position, go ahead and give me a bicep curl. Hammer curl or standard is just fine. One more time. Nice flat back, organized and tight, and dumbbell curl. Perfect. Now, moving into the kettlebells. One thing we can, I love to do, kettlebells offer so much variation. We have the kettlebell gorilla clean. Starting with one kettlebell in the rack position, the other down here. Now, so much of what we do with the grip strength has to do with our shoulder. We're gonna go internal rotation at the bottom and then external rotation at the top. Go ahead. We're gonna switch as we move using that core to stay stable, the hips to pop, and that grip to stay strong and practice. Moving weight within that range of motion. This is a great one for that grip strength, a great one for power development as well. Finally, on the dumbbells, what we have is the Dumbbell Man Maker. Now, if you've ever done something like this, you know this is challenging. It's complex, it's multi-dimensional, this is good stuff. Starting on the ground, we're gonna go down to a push-up position. Descend down to the bottom of your push-up. Come up and do two renegade rows. From here, you're gonna jump your feet forward outside those dumbbells, setting yourself up with a nice flat back, organize through the uh, hips and heels down the ground. Jump that dumbbell up into the rack position and then finish with a thruster movement overhead. Awesome, one more time. Plank position, push up, dumbbell row, dumbbell row, oh yeah. Coming in, yep, and boom, explosively driving up over the top. Not only are you getting that grip strength, but it's practically a full body workout in and of itself. Now, for the kettlebells, what we have is bottom up squats. There is nothing better to help develop wrist stability, control, and maybe even get that stronger in the meantime while developing that strength. Starting with those kettlebells, bottom up, we're gonna put our feet out in a squat stance. Initiating the squat, hips go back and down, chest stays up tall. Now, the trick is staying nice and tight on those kettlebells so that they do not fall to the back of the wrist. Two more. Excellent. I encourage you guys to give this a try. It is absolutely going to get your grip stronger. Now, finally, what we have are ropes. You see Tough Mudder, you know that there's going to be ropes on the course. I have some exercises for you that's gonna get you there. The first exercise we're gonna do is a hip bridge rope lower, okay? Nothing spells grip strength like ropes. 
Starting with that nice tall posture, we're going to initiate this movement by shoving our knees forward and slowly lowering ourselves down until our shoulders hit the floor. But I want you to keep your hamstrings engaged. Your hips are not gonna touch the floor. Go ahead and try one. Lowering hand over hand all the way. Developing grip strength, developing that eccentric upper body movement that you need. And back to the top, excellent. One more time. Core is tight, knees go forward, and shoulders lead lower than the hips. Awesome, back to the top. Grip smoker, right? Yeah. Now, secondly, we have rope rows. These ex this exercise is absolutely one of my favorites. From the top, leaning back slightly, notice how he has his hands about the same height as his eyebrow, eyebrow level, okay? Fully extended through, core is tight, you're going to pull with one arm up to the top. Now, if two hands wasn't enough, single arm is going to absolutely get you stronger. You have to practice core control, grip control, and get the biceps in there as well. One more time. Perfect, excellent stuff. Now, finally, what we have here is the rope pull-up, okay? This is something we work towards developing that rope climb. One thing we can do is practice this pull-up. As Greg jumps off the ground, he's gonna give himself a good pull and then lowering himself under control. Nice, lowering under control. Now, if you've done any sort of pull-up work, you know that that control lowering down builds just as much muscle as it does when you're just repping out pull-ups. So, control that descent, changing your hand grip each and every rep will allow for grip strength to be involved, upper back to be involved, biceps and forearms. That's good stuff. Nice, Greg. Good job, squad. So we've given you three different tools, a bunch of different exercises. This is the way we're gonna develop that grip strength for obstacle course racing, make you better at life, make you better at Tough Mudder. We'll see you on the course soon. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, watch more videos, and comment below. And we'll see you at a Tough Mudder soon.